Hi guys, welcome back to another Boy Toys video, and today we're doing custom Lego Transformers Shock Tapede Cute Version. Now I know I have a lot of Shock Tapedes, but I just wanted something a whole lot cuter, something fun, a little more simple, and a whole lot more cute. So I thought a box with legs would be a cool transformation, but it came out as a beetle. And I think that suits him better, because he is a bug transformer. Um, I didn't make his eyes a whole lot cuter. They were transparent before, but now I made them not, because that made him look a whole lot more cartoony, which I wanted to go for. His arms move back and forth. His other arm does the same. His back, you can see some transformation, but if you go to the bottom, you can see all of it, which is his head. Some more red bricks. Um, that's all you can really see. You can see a lot of these articulated pieces, which will become his shoulders later on. But if you look at him from down below, you can see that they're kind of like legs, which I really like. Um, I forgot what type of beetle this was. If you know, um, you can put it in the comments. Um, we look at it from the top angle. He does have that nice little cartoony eye look that I love. Now I'm going to put another rollout twist or connection between these characters. Um, for one, I feel like this guy would hang out with a lot of rollouts bug and blocky cartoony characters. Like, for instance, Scale Storm. I feel like they should be really good friends. And that whale one, I do not know what its name was. I kind of forgot. And then I think um, Therapist would be a good friend to him. And let's get into the twist. So I imagine that Leverage, one of Rollout's Transformers, has been dealing with his group of, well, like, motorcycle gang or something like that. I don't really know. He said something, like, kind of a gangster kind of group. I imagined Dark Slash, Dark Shot, and one of one that is his characters, I forgot, you can choose which one it could be, probably one of the Decepticons of his, and they were all working together and tricking Cargo into shipping them weaponry and all that kind of bad stuff, and Cargo thought he was shipping medicine back and forth to people who needed it. Then, quick stop, you heard something, and he went after Leverage, but kind of got distracted in a few other Decepticons that he was able to find that were trying to get themselves involved. And one day, Shaktopede was flying to his best friend, Scalestorm, when he ran into Cargo. Almost hit him, and one of Cargo's bombs flew out of his ship and blew up next to them. They landed on the nearest planet to check out what was actually in Cargo's cargo. And so they found out that it was all the weaponry, and Cargo apologized and wanted to give an end to what Leverage was doing to him. So Quick Stop found those two and started attacking Cargo, but they made up for it and realized what was going on. Once they found Leverage, his group abandoned him. So Dark Slash became a Decepticon, but later on became a great Autobot. And Darkshot turned into a great Decepticon, but later on decided that he would be better off on his own team. Then, um, one that is his character became a great Decepticon leader. I'm gonna have to leave in the comments who that is. I can't even remember the name. Anyway, Leverage was sent into prison or stasis or whatever that sort of stuff. And now let's get back into the actual person that we're trying to talk about, um, shocked me. Yes, um, to transform him, you just lift his leg. Well, what's going to be his leg? Push the horns in like that. Do the same with the other leg. Push those in like that, very nice. Bring them out like so. Next, what you're going to want to do is twist these into his chest. Now, that is part of Dark Slash's transformation, but this character does it a little differently, and I don't know how, but it gives him his own kind of look. Probably because you do the exact same thing, but with his 
shoulders. Fold those in. Give them those nice, broad, heroic shoulders, as Rollout would say. And twist that. I do that to make it look sort of like a sheath or a quill, whichever one. I, for one, think it's a quill. I want to give him his own little weapon, even though I keep changing it throughout the ways I build this character. Kind of spread out his arms. Bring these down a bit and twist his feet down. Now we give him these little chicken legs, which I think he pulls off better than Starscream since he actually transforms into more of an animal. Okay, now we have Shocktopede in his robot mode. Now this character is very articulated and very cool looking, very animated and very blocky. For one, his eyes turn into his feet, which gives him a nice little splatter of red down here as he has up here. And it also looks like, here, let me move this, if you can see it, it kind of looks like his face is right there, with his head just pulling out of his neck. I mean, his head pulling out of between his eyes. Ugh. My words are so mixed today. Um, his mouth does turn into the front of his body, instead of the head going to his shoulders once more. Um, his shoulders, though, are very articulated and very broad, as they might have already said. Um, they can flip out like this, they can twist around like this, his arms can go up and down like that. As you could already notice, his legs go up, down, up, down, and his feet go down and up. His head can turn if I get him a certain way. If we twist this like that, you can turn it left, and you can turn it right. But now let's get it back into pose. Poses for this character I haven't really dealt with. He doesn't even have a weapon to go with him. I might build that later on and showcase it in another video, or show it off as a little side thing. Um, let's try to give him a nice little... Voila. <laughs> anyway, so that's basically it for this video. If you go check out Rollout's videos or Hashtag Squad's videos, that'd be cool. And if you watch any of more of my, more of my videos, that'd be awesome too. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.